So the question is, have you ever been in love? Um, my answer to that question can be kind of difficult because it goes back and forth, but initially I was in love. Um, his name was James and we met through a blind date set up through one of our mutual friends. Um, I was kind of iffy about it at first, but it ended up turning out pretty well. Hey, James, right? It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. So, where are you from? I'm from Ohio, but you could say the most relevant part of my life has been the last few years I've spent in Minnesota. So, James, initially, um, I was kind of iffy about whether I wanted to go out with him again. Um, on our blind date, he came off very self-centered and kind of difficult to talk to in a lot of ways. So why was Minnesota so relevant? I don't know. Just stuff. What kind of stuff? It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it. Um, me and James did go out on a few more dates after that. Um, and he seemed to become a lot more supportive of others, and he started to accept help from other people, which was a big check plus in my eyes. Um, and I thought it was going to go well from there. Falling in love with you. I'm really glad you finally let your parents help you out last night. Yeah. I thought it was about time I stopped disappointing them and let them in. After me and James had been seeing each other for a couple months, he did finally um, inform me that he did spend some time in a rehab in Minnesota, that he previously had a really bad drug and alcohol addiction, and I really respected that he told me the truth about everything or for what I thought was the complete truth about what happened to him while in rehab and the different stories that he told me about his time there. They're dealing with a horrible drug and alcohol addiction. I saw terrible things and did terrible things, but it made me into a better person today. Well, I'm really glad that you feel comfortable with me to tell me that and that you're being honest. So after confronting James about what I thought was this honest story about rehab, I learned that his entire story that he told me about his time there was very exaggerated. Um, some of the things completely didn't happen, and I was kind of confused as to who would lie about their time in rehab and about their addiction and their violent stories that happened to them. I was very confused and taken back by the whole situation, really. James, I need you to tell me the truth about what really happened in rehab. What do you mean? I mean, I guess you could say some parts were exaggerated, but it was only to make the story sound better. So you lied to me? Why would you ever think exaggerating your story about rehab would make you, would make you into a better person? So me and James ended up breaking things off um, a few weeks following that. And I believe it was honestly one of the best decisions that I ever made because I'm not really sure what prompts someone to lie about and exaggerate their story while they were in rehab recovering from um, addiction to alcohol and drugs. I mean, who lies about their time in rehab to make them look better? I don't know what to believe about you anymore, James. It's over. 